Hey everybody, this is Kevin over at JJ Hats. We're at 310 Fifth Avenue. This is the oldest hat shop around. Uh, we opened in 1911 and um, beautiful, beautiful space. This is actually IBM's very first space here. They got here in 1922 while we were still around the corner. Um, we moved into this space a little bit later. But uh, yeah, there's an IBM badge up in that window up there. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a gold circular badge up there nah, you can't really see it but uh yeah this was ibm's first workspace so it's like a really cool space everybody's gone we had a busy sunday and uh i'm all alone in here it's, uh, it's a huge dark old wooden space red oak and stuff anyway what i'm gonna do is just steam up my hat here it's a little screwed up but uh I'm going to show you guys what to do, you know, a typical hat that's a little messed up. Typical things you get to see is that the, the brim has a curve to it. It's usually up like this. It's a flange. You see how my brim goes up? So that curve is like a hinge. It allows you to snap it down and up. Without that curve, that scoop, it would be flat and there would be no down or up. So down, up, down, up is all due to this curve. We call that the flange, F-L-A-N-G-E. 90% of the hats that come to me, the flange basically just from gravity and being wet and heavy droops. It goes down and I steam it right in here, soften it up and push back here with my fingers, my thumb, to basically raise the brim up. So instead of being down here, it's you know way up here and it's got that scoop again. Let me see if I can demonstrate that a little bit. Just watch, watch how I'm pushing on the back of the brim as I steam. Okay, now let's get this out of the way. Pushing all the way around. Being careful to keep the hat between me and the steam so I don't burn myself. And pay attention. I haven't burned myself in years, decades, but you can catch serious burns on your fingers, your forearms. So just pay attention. All right, so what you do is you push. Okay, the flange is getting better now. Let's do a little more. So I'm increasing the flange and restoring it, bringing it back. And a lot of people say, oh, but I like my hat flat. I don't like a big flange. Well, that's different. It's, if it's flat, it generally is also floppy and soft too. So these are snap brim fedoras and they're supposed to have a flange and they're supposed to have a little snap to it, you know, a little Snap. It actually makes a noise, you know, snaps. If it's total mush, you know, probably need a little stiffening. Even if you have a soft hat, like, you know, an Italian mushy soft hat, there's, a, there's still a little bit. There's some stiffener on there. Okay, what else can we do? All right, I've got some wrinkles here on the band. Let's steam the band. You want to take a brush like this, a brim brush or anything hard, and you gotta just steam it and just brush upwards. This comes from stacking your hats. You shouldn't stack your hats, and if you're gonna, you need to separate them with some cellophane or a foam ring. You put a ring around it, a foam ring, a cardboard ring, but you don't stack hats right on top of each other because it makes horrible wrinkles on the band of the hat below. Okay. Next, All right, now that we got that band, that brim pushed up and the flange is back on it, let's straighten out the brim by doing this thing like this. I'm gonna use the table as a straight edge. All right. So yes, maybe you got the flange up, but it still can have like little waves. So we wanna straighten it out. Instead of using my fingers to straighten it, I use this straight edge, which is much better. One person asked me, well, why don't you put it on a round flange, you know, like on a hat? 
why don't you put it on something like this, more toilet seat shaped, rather than using the table? Well, this is really, that flange is to get the flange back. It's to get the curve of the brim back. I already did that by pushing it, okay? So that step is already done. So I don't need that flange, that brim block. What I need now is to get the edge of the brim, just the edge part, at the same level. So what I do is I push it up as hard as I can, even a little bit too hard, and then I level the edge of it. So everything is down, the curve is there. I brought the curve and the flange back. So what I'm gonna do now is get it even, symmetrical. I use this straight edge. I'm only using the weight of the hat. You wanna press, if you press down, you're gonna get rid of that Curve, the curve's gonna flatten out. So I just use the weight of the hat itself, so I keep the curve, but the edge of the brim is becoming razor sharp and straight now. It's just really nice. Maybe this side can use it. I don't know, it's pretty good. Okay, that's, that's a good job. All right, next. Look at this pinch here. I could work it from the inside with my fingers and the inside kind of like, like that. Smooth it out. Bam. All right. The pinches look fine. Sometimes I use the front to get this area here flat. I heat it up like this. And I put it down. And right there, that two finger area between the two pinches, this area, I get it flat. The side of it looks nice and flat, see? Alright. That's that's a nice job. Snaps. Snap up and down, snap brim. Okay. Once you've got your tear uh, your center crease, you can always work it into a teardrop from there uh, without steam. It's always easy to do that. But you still have your center crease to fall back on. I personally like center creases better. I feel that they're more graceful. It has a curved line, like an M, but very curved. See that line? It's a very graceful, beautiful curve. I, I like it. The front also, the front of a typical center crease. It's very smooth, rounded. Now when you look at a, where's a typical, okay, here's a, a teardrop. Teardrops are very square, see, square. That's a square shape. There's a little taper there, but it's essentially, mm, mm, mm. it's got a little V here, but that is an essentially a square shape. The back, square lines, one, almost a square. One, two, three. The back of a center crease to me has more grace. They're curved lines, they're smooth, sculpted, the shadows are more beautiful. To me, when I was younger, when I started here, I thought, I thought teardrops are really cool and boxy and they look like the old movies and stuff. Now I'm starting to appreciate a center crease more. It's just my taste. Um, you'll rarely see me wearing a teardrop. Um, I just don't like the, the squareness of it and the, you know, the blockiness of it and the straight lines. And a lot of people like that, and I, I do a good job for people when they want that. But uh, I like softness, and I, I like it had to be almost exactly the way it was when I bought it, just like the original shape. I don't like to mess around with it too much. Like this hat, it's exactly the way, like when I bought it. I never changed the shape, nothing, nothing about it. Even the tag is still on it. Uh, this is a really old hat. It's very old. Um, I do take the linings out. That's one thing I do because I dart around here like crazy, doing a lot of work, and I sweat them up and stuff. I have a very high metabolism, and I tend to just dart around like crazy. People tell me to slow down all the time, and it's just my, my regular speed is uh, 78 speed, not 45 or 33. But there's a simple way to just steam your hat up and stuff. So it was a long day, so I'm going to go home, everybody. And I hope you have an amazing weekend, great spring, and 
be well. Uh, in about five days, I'm gonna be going a little vacay, so you might not see a video for maybe like a half a week or something like that, but maybe I'll try to do a little extra before I go. So, all right, guys, take care.